Fibers, they have very important role in human diet because they help in reducing of cholesterol as well as they provide, provide the bulking material of human food. They are two types, water-soluble fibers and water-insoluble fibers. One of the important water-insoluble fiber is cellulose. And this is the most abundant compound that is found in nature. Almost all the plants, their cell walls, it consists of cell wall, cellulose. And cellulose is not digestible by humans due to the lack of enzyme called cellulase. This is water insoluble. It gives mechanical strength. It gives mechanical strength to the plant materials. Their structure is elongated and rigid. And this is important element in most of the industries like wood industry, cotton industry, and paper industry because they, the main ingredient is cellulose in these industries. If you look at the structure of cellulose, it consists of D-glucose. It's a polymer of D-glucose. And these are linked together with this linkage called 1,4 bond. And when we have got these two units, D-glucose, they are joined together with this bond. This is called as cellulose unit. So this cellulose unit is basically the structural component of cellulose. If we treat cellulose with dilute acids, that would produce crystalline cellulose. So that microcrystalline cellulose have got very important applications. Like we would add this to most of the food products to increase the bulk. And as I said that fibers are very important in human diet. They would reduce the calorific value of food and increase the bulk of food. So we would find a lot of functional food that is added with these cellulose. So these cellulose are produced by producing the form of microcrystalline structures and then they are added into the functional food to add value to those food products. Another important polysaccharide is pectin. Pectin has got a lot of industrial applications like most of your jams and preserves are produced by pectin. Pectin is found in almost all plants like cellulose, but this is found in the interstitial spaces of the plants. Intercellular places are where pectin is found. If you look at the structure of pectin, this pectin consists of polygalacto uronic acids. So these are polygalacto uronic acids molecules. They are linked together with 1,4 linkage as we already looked in the case of cellulose as well. So here again we have got polygalacto uronic acid. They are linked together with this bond 1,4 linkage. These galacto uronic acid they might be esterified with acid and and alcohol. So whenever this esterification process happens, we call these pectin as esterified pectins. So this esterification basically produces different kinds of pectin. You might be aware that there are slow set pectins and fast set pectins. These slow set and fast set pectins are produced in order to produce jams and preserves or other similar food products where we want the quick setting action in case of quick set pectin. Whereas in low set pectins, the gel is formed gradually and slowly. The difference between slow set and quick set is the slow set pectin have got 50 to 70 percent of a sterification. When this sterification is more than 70 percent, we call this pectin as quick set pectin. Similarly, there are low methoxy um, pectins available in the market. They are used in products like jam, um, which are diet jams, because it would use lesser amount of sugar to make gels. So these low methoxy pectins are basically produced to produce diet products. Gums is another 
um, fiber, which is soluble fiber. They can be of, they can come from different sources like uh, beans, bean gums. They could come from seeds. They could come from seaweed gums as well. And they have got, they are all heteropolysaccharides. And they have got very important role to be played again uh, in multiple application in food industry, especially in most of the fruit juices and the liquid products uh, like sauces. So they add texture, uh, they act as gelling agent, uh, and they do stabilize the solutions. So they would have plenty of food application in the food industry.